Now the ground was primed for digging, Ed was ready to search. This was the beginning. He'd done what he'd said in line with his plan. Now was the time to show I am the man. He thought it would be easy, now it all looked the same. He'd be ready with spade when the morning came. With the final step to begin the next day, the treasure would be found without further delay. I slept easy that night. The end was in sight. There's nothing in my way. The future is bright. He was up at the crack and raring to go. Unfortunately, he wasn't prepared for what was on show. You see, during the night, his land had been worked. It seemed someone or thing had gone completely berserk. And instead of a lovely flat patch of ground, it was hundreds of soil mounds that Edward found. <laughs> At first, he thought his treasure had been taken, that during the night it had been unfairly forsaken. Ed was angry. He was red with fury. I will put this criminal before judge and jury. However, when he looked more closely at the ground, he was more puzzled than angered by what he had found. These piles of earth are not made by human hand, but by a common creature living in the land. After closer inspection and significant scrutiny, he realised it was moles <sighs> that had performed this mutiny. Tens of hundreds, if not thousands or more, had burrowed, dug, tunnelled and bore, making a mess of the land Ed had carefully prepared. Why have they done this? How have they dared? Why are you killing our family? Think it's all right to murder the blind? Why don't you stop harming us? <laughs> it's not nice, nice to go killing our kind. <laughs> we are small cylindrical mammals adapted to the subterranean lifestyle. We have velvety form and tiny little ears and delicately atrophy hind limbs. We are of the Tampidae family who can live in low oxygen surroundings. We have short and powerful forelimbs and polydactyl paws, which means we have four tongues and eight fingers. Any harm. <laughs>